What's up, everybody? My name is Tony. Welcome to Powered by CO2. In my first introduction video, I explained that using and training with CO2 guns can actually translate to an actual firearm, and that goes with safety. So today I want to talk about some of the fundamentals with safety and shooting, with safety being the most important. So let's just dive right into it. Number one. Always treat a firearm as if it's loaded. You never want to pick up a firearm without checking for yourself to see if that thing is loaded. Thankfully, these BB guns can't carry one in the chamber, as I've discovered from using it often, but actual firearms, you can. Uh, this Glock 19 replica, I can link in the description below, does not carry BBs inside of the chamber. And so it doesn't have a mag in there. The only way that you can shoot a BB from this is if the, there's a mag in there. Um, I'll go into details with this about this gun in the next video. Uh, number two, don't ever point this muzzle at anything you don't intend on destroying. Or in this case, or at anything other than your target. And so I practice with this gun often and I just shoot at targets. Uh, number three, always keep your, when you're ready to, or getting ready to practice, you don't want your finger right here and just around the trigger. So number three, you want to make sure your finger is away from the trigger guard and the trigger itself. I like that this replica also has a trigger safety, just like the actual Glocks do. So the trigger safety in there, it's nice. So, but it's emulating an actual firearm. So keep your finger away from the trigger guard. And number four, when you're doing target practice, know your target and what's beyond that target. So you don't wanna set up your target and be shooting through cardboard or paper and then your window be behind there. You're gonna end up breaking the window and having to replace the window at a dumb expense. That's no, you could have avoided that if you knew what was beyond your target. So just to recap, the four fundamentals of shooting is always, always treat a gun as if it's loaded. Even BB guns, it's building solid habits. Number two, don't point your muzzle at anything you don't intend to shoot or destroy. Number three is keep your finger away from the trigger guard and the trigger itself. And number four, know your target and what's beyond that target. Just to put a disclaimer out there, I am not a firearm expert or instructor. I'm just sharing the wealth of knowledge that I've gained through using CO2 guns and training with firearms. So these are the things that were taught to me and the things that I've learned through research. And so I'm just sharing that and I want to be transparent that I'm not an expert, but I do want you guys to be safe out there. And I don't want any mishaps to happen. So it can be all avoided if we know more and we care more about the things that we do. So. so with that, we'll go over to our shooting. All right, now that we're in our target area, there are six key points to shooting. One being your position, your stance. Uh, most people will stand shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, and they're kind of leaning forward. And the reason why we lean forward is because some of the recoil from an actual firearm will kick you back a little bit and so you kind of want to absorb some of that in your posture. The next would be your grip. Um, the non-dominant hand is going to be, or your dominant hand, excuse me, is going to be up against this beaver tail right here. Your three fingers are going to be squeezed on the grip, nice and firm, and your non-dominant hand is going to wrap around and cover those three fingers from your dominant hand. And so your thumbs will be pointed forward and that just helps acquiring your target faster when you're just presenting. And so the next would be your breathing. Just like in working out, when you're exerting the weight, you breathe out. And so with shooting, when you squeeze that trigger, you're slow squeeze and you breathe out. Slow squeeze and breathe out. Uh, the next would be your sight alignment. And so 
what it was told to me was even height, meaning your front and back sights are at even height horizontally, and there's even amount of light coming through, uh, seeing from your back sight to your front sight, there's an even amount of light on the front of your sight. Uh, the next would be trigger control. So you want to be able to pull that trigger. The trigger is sitting right here on my pointer finger in the middle of that tip of the finger. And you want to pull straight back. If you're pulling just like with the very tip of the finger, like right here or something, you, you might have a tendency to shoot right and pull your shots or if you're over gripping it you could potentially pull your shots to the left so it's important where you place that finger and that you when you squeeze the trigger you're pulling straight back and so um, the last one is your follow-through once you got your target acquired and you pop the first round you want to make sure that you're still on target after the recoil so it's your follow through. You want to just make sure you're right there. Whew, that's a lot, a lot of talking. So I'm going to demonstrate and then I'll recap for you guys on how this is all goes. Your stance, grip, your breathing, your sights are aligned, trigger to control, follow through. Just to recap on those six points that I just went over, your stance, make sure you have a solid foundation, a nice firm grip is number two, breathing is three, make sure your breathing is under control, you exhale on the shot, uh, sight alignment, make sure your sights are aligned with each other, and remember that phrase, even height, even light, uh, trigger control, make sure you're squeezing that trigger nice and slow and steady and pulling that trigger straight back. And then your follow through. The most important of those six is side alignment and trigger control. So remember those. Um, so those are the key points in shooting. I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about the shooting fundamentals and safety. Safety being the most important as you guys are going out there and practicing with CO2 guns, and getting into firearms so i just wanted to make sure i talked about those things before i got into any of my training videos on how i practice at home and how i train for any life scenario that may come about and so thank you again so much for tuning in if this content is something that you like like and subscribe also hit that bell icon to get notified anytime i post new content and so again my name is tony and this is powered by co2